Hi guys, do you have to run a separate power cable for your wireless access point, security cameras or other IP devices? But actually, you don't have to. Now you can upgrade your main network router by adding a PoE injector in order to eliminate the need for extra cord or outlet. So today, we are going to use a PoE injector to connect with a wireless access point. And if you have any trouble with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below, and we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you. Now, a router can connect with multiple devices within a network and forward the data packets between them. It is an essential component of a modern network system because it can allow the devices to communicate with each other and connect to the internet. But most of the router does not support PoE, that's why you need a separate power set to connect with your edge devices. So let's move on to the demonstration board and I will show you how to do the whole setup. So now we're in front of the board, today's setup is pretty simple. We are going to connect a PoE enabled wireless access point with the main network router. And we all know the PoE is an awesome technology because it can provide both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. So you can eliminate the need for a separate power set so you don't need any power source at the edge. However, as I said, a lot of router does not support PoE. So if you want to power your wireless access point with the PoE technology, you would need to upgrade your router by adding the PoE injector. Now this is a 10 gigabit PoE injector. It can support up to 10 gigabit per second and also, it will inject 30 watts of power output into the Ethernet cable along with the data. So our PoE enabled device at the edge can work. And you can see here it has an input port and an output port. So make sure you plug the Ethernet cable into the right port. And the PoE injector will also need a power source so you can put it by your router here. And then we are going to connect it with a wireless access point and see if it works. Now let's do the connection together. So this is the router to provide the main network and it's already been powered up. Now I'm going to use a short patch cord here to connect our router with the PoE injector. And remember, there's an input port and an output port. Make sure you plug in the input port with the data. Let's plug it in here. And for the output port, I'm going to use another Ethernet cable to connect with the edge device, the output. And now let's power it up. This PoE injector is compact so you can actually put it wherever you want and now this little guy is going to collect the data and send the power over to the edge device by using a single ethernet cable now this is a poe enabled wireless access point and you can see here it has a poe enabled port and I'm going to plug it in here. This is PoE enable. And we can see the indicated light is getting on. And also you can connect with an IP camera by using the PoE injector. And now you can see the whole setup is pretty simple and it's all done. The PoE enable wireless access point here is receiving both power and the data from the PoE injector. And there's no extra power source available. Here are a few more tips for you. 
The PoE injector is easy to use due to the plug and play feature. It is compatible with IEEE AO 2.3 AF and AT standard. It can provide up to 30 watts of power maximum and also support 10 gigabit per second data transfer rate. And that's pretty fast. If you have to add a PoE injector, make sure you also consider about the power budget and it is determined by your edge devices. If you're using a high power edge device like the PDZ camera, you should probably change your PoE injector into a 90 watts PoE injector with a higher power. And also it comes with different version. This is the indoor one. We have outdoor and also industrial hardened grade, which you can have higher reliability. So you need to determine about your installation's environment. And PoE has a distance limitation of 328 feet. That's about 100 meters, so you should keep in mind. If you're doing a PoE installation, make sure you choose a pure copper cable like the Cat5e or a Cat6. Because pure copper has a superior conductivity compared to other materials. So it can provide stable power delivery in a PoE connection. And if you want to add multiple devices, you should add a PoE switch. And this is a video on how to add a PoE switch to connect with multiple IP devices. And thank you so much for watching us today and I will see you next time.